A Ukrainian report alleges that Iran has replicated Israel's spike anti-tank missile and installed it on a drone, according to the Jerusalem Post. The report asserts that Iran's Mohajer 6 drone was equipped with anti-tank missiles and guided aerial bombs, including the Jewish state's fire and forget anti-tank guided surface-to-surface -surface missile. While this report has not been confirmed, Tehran has been working tirelessly to advance and expand its arsenal of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. Since the regime is strapped for cash and friends due to international sanctions and its escalatory behavior, upgrading its drones to sell to the Kremlin has become a priority. Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine has evolved into a predominantly drone-driven conflict, upon which Iran has tried to monopolize. Therefore, enhancing its Mohajer 6 drone to become a more sophisticated armed weapon would make sense. According to the Jerusalem Post, the Ukrainian report said that it is currently unknown whether the Russian Federation will buy these UAVs. However, the other day, high-quality photos of weapons under the wings of this and other UAVs lit up on the internet, which gives reason to talk about them, adding that recent imagery released during an Iranian drone exhibition showcased an Alma's anti-tank guided missile under the wing of a Mohajer 6 drone. The Iranian ATGM with this guided missile was introduced in July 2021. In fact, Almaz is a copy of the Israeli spike. The missile received a high-tech homing head and a warhead, the declared range of this missile is up to 8,000 meters. Israel's spike anti-tank guided missile has been highly touted as one of the best of its kind by military and industry experts across the globe. Originally developed in the 1980s, the spike has undergone a series of modifications over time and remains one of Israel's most successful exports. The spike is equipped with a small fiber optic cable that links the missile to the launching system, which helps prevent massed armor pushes from artillery distances with precision attacks. In June, the Israeli-based Rafael Advanced Defense Systems debuted the sixth-generation variant of the spike during the Eurosatory Defense Expo in Paris. The missile's enhanced attributes include its ability to fire four missiles from a singular launcher at the same time. The recently unveiled Spike NLOS, non-line-of-sight, variant, joined the missile's four-member family. The Spike missile's reputation as the ultimate tank killer is probably intriguing to Russian forces, who are more or less stagnant in their offensive objectives in Ukraine. Understanding this, Iran's alleged attempt at securing a Spike-like missile to its Mohajer 6 drone is possible. Alongside the Shad-129 and Shad-191, the Mohajer 6 represents Iran's top-of-the-line military drones. In July, the White House revealed photographic evidence depicting a Russian Federation visiting Iran's Kashin airfield twice. While only the Shad-129 and Shad-191 can be viewed, various news outlets have verified that the Mohajer 6 was included in Iran's first shipment of drones to Russia. While securing its strengthening relationship to the Kremlin remains vital for the regime, producing a powerhouse armed drone for export is no doubt of interest to Iran. Turkey's Barakter drone has played an outsized role in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. This Turkish-made lethal drone has enabled Ukraine to deliver close air support and fire in depth against its Russian invaders. The Barakter drone has perhaps become the most recognizable UAV in the war, lending to its export potential. Iran could be trying to integrate a spike missile copy with its Mohajer 6 drone to produce the same effect.
whether or not the Ukrainian report alleging that Iran has copied an Israeli anti-tank missile is true, the recent expansion and ongoing developments of Iran's drone program is a fact. Furthermore, Iran's U of dependence will likely continue to play a role in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Russia dropped hundreds of drones into the war in Ukraine. However, the most advertised Russian Orlan 10 drone is not proving to be as successful as initially claimed in Moscow. Iran finds a market precisely in Russia. The government in Tehran and the country are under economic sanctions from many countries around the world. There is a lack of fresh investments and fresh technological developments. The war in Ukraine is one possible outcome for Iran, as Russia needs drones. Experts say that the war in Ukraine is becoming a priority for Iran, which will try to monopolize the drone market from the Russian side. Therefore, upgrading his Mohajer 6 drone to become a more advanced weapon would make sense. The same goes for the Alma's anti-tank missile. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay that, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift, sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes, it makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane, we all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag, stadium pack, baby, I'm bad